Jesus Christ. Actually, oh, hello. So, join me today. glorious Shropshire Hills. I mean that that one man coffin style tent that I bought from Team U tonight. As you can see I'm knocking it on my back yet. I just thought I'd just get out of the car and have a little nosy around here see if it's worth pitching up around here or going to where I normally go. Hello? I've done exactly what I said I didn't want to do. I wanted to come here, but park somewhere different, camp somewhere, you know, never been before. But I wanted somewhere with a view, somewhere up high, and somewhere um, out of the way, really. I've looked at a couple of places, but I've ended up where I always end up when I come to this place. So last time I was here was in the van, did a van camp here, and that's when this happened. Um, time before that, set to be car a couple of years ago. So if you didn't watch last week's video, not only did I break my glasses, well I didn't break my glasses in the video, but not only are my glasses broken, uh, but I also dropped, the, broke the tripod. <laughs> yes, I hit the deck. Which is my handle, which I mean it works as a handle, it just doesn't work as a tripod. I mean the views up here. Not sure how well it's coming across on the GoPro. So there's the gliding school down there, or gliding club, should I say? I think, as I've got the place to myself for the time being. Well, apart from these three, I've put me back down and scope out some areas where I want to be. That tent is going there, perfect. It's a little bit on the slant, but. We can work with that. Let me go and get my bag and let's have a look. I'm not going to put the tent up yet, obviously. It's only quarter past six, so I'll probably have some dinner. By the time I've had dinner, seven-ish. And to be honest, that's it. That's pretty much all I've got. I haven't actually got much with me tonight. Got no beer. It is a school night after all. Uh, do me a favour, like I say before, my goal is 500 subscribers by August. You know, I started this a couple of months ago. Just, I've you know, I've had wild camps all, you know, for years. I've just never recorded it. I'll tell I have recorded a couple, but never, never had the courage to actually upload. Um, so watching the growth already over the last couple of months, you know, it's it's been it's been good, really good. So I have set myself a goal of 500 subscribers by August, and if I get there. Uh, I've got a hammock, brand new, brand spanking new hammock, which I've brought two of, uh, one for me, and then one to give away to someone on here. Um, like I say, I'd love to do that sooner rather than later. Um, but yeah, thanks for thanks for being here. Um, I hope you're enjoying. Uh, hopefully these videos, you know, the more I do, hopefully they'll just get better and better. Hopefully, you know, bigger and better. But if they don't, I mean, it's not bad, is it? So tonight is actually a new moon. They call it a new moon, even though the moon isn't there, basically. So there's gonna be no moon tonight. So the sky is gonna be pitch black. Where I am, it's got official dark sky status. Dark sky status for the UK, at least anyway. No matter light pollution we have. I'm hoping that these clouds disappear. And we get a bit of clear sky. But for now, let's get some dinner on. Jesus Christ! Oh my goodness me, that scared the life out of me. Hello? Are 
Think he wants some noodles? My goodness me, he scared me. Hopefully she doesn't do that in the middle of the night when I'm trying to sleep. Although I guess it will serve me right as I am on her patch. The only thing I don't want her to do is a big turd right in me patch. Time is now quarter past seven. Had to be dinner. Just sat here. <clears throat> trying to eat me dinner. All right, mate. So, uh, if you don't know by now, I am an idiot. I know I am. So I went out last night, camped in the woods. Yes, I was in my hammock but I was in the woods. Temperature dropped down to, I think it was 10 degrees overnight, and I was cold. Uh, I was in the summer sleeping bag. I thought it'd be a good idea tonight to bring the summer sleeping bag again, even though I was cold last night. Reason being, I'm in the tent tonight, rather than the hammock, so a little bit more shelter, so to speak. Only problem is, it's due to drop down to seven degrees tonight. And I'm cold already. I have got another. I have got a coat to put on, but I was trying to keep it. Well, I was trying to not to put it on just yet, basically. Anyway, I'm going to put the hammock. Uh, I'm going to put the tent up, and then I'm going to go from there. It is only. Turn me on. It's only twenty to eight, but um, well, yeah, I'm cold, so I'm going to set it up. It was at this moment that he knew he f up. Oh no. Oh, freaking hell. <laughs> I told you I'm an idiot. So, this tent uh, has got two hoops one at the foot end, one at the head end. Uh, if you didn't see the video, I did whenever a couple of weeks ago first look at this tent then um yeah i haven't got the poles i haven't got the loop the hoops so it's basically going to be well a bivy bag i guess a hoopless bivy bag anyway we'll sleep bag in see what it looks like So, we reckon then, to the boudoir. Okay, so other than the chair, which I'll move in a minute, you can see nothing from up here. Apart from that gorgeous skyline, do you reckon? First attempt at getting in. I know I'm making this look really easy. You probably can't tell, but the pitch is like that. The ground, the mat, well, it's too short. Look at that sky. So I've just been laying here, contemplating life, to be honest. 
What the heck am I doing with myself? What am I doing? I must admit, being in here has made me a lot warmer. It's freezing out there. I am actually warm in here. So that makes a big difference. However, am I comfortable? Far from it. Far, far from it. Yes. Um, the air mattress keeps coming from underneath me and sliding out. Yes, the pillow keeps disappearing. Yes, I've got a bad neck. Would I have it any other way? <laughs> yeah, let's be honest, I would. Oh, you're never gonna guess what. So I'm drinking me hot chocolate facing this way. And I've just sat up, just cause I'm really, oh, uncomfortable. And I've had a visitor. Well, three visitors. How the heck am I gonna sleep here tonight? <laughs> I just hope they don't trample on me. Four visitors, there's another one. Oh my goodness me. Hello. <laughs> God, does it for you? Oh God, look at my finger. Actually. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Time is now 12.30. I've just had a look up. There's it right above me, that's a gorgeous, clear sky. So I will set the time lapse up, probably over this video. <sighs> Morning. <sighs> well, I lasted. Not gonna lie though, I'm achy. My shoulders are killing me. Anyone know a good massage around here? I've heard one of these sheep. This time is now. Five to five in the morning. Getting up. Getting packed with money. I'm not as cold as I was when I was in the hammock, I can't lie. But I am wetter than I was in the hammock. Because before the dew on the tent, obviously you're not supposed to touch the tent when you're inside. Just to turn the skin on. And uh, well, yeah. It's been on me all night, obviously. Ooh. Beautiful morning. Sorry for interrupting, but I thought it was fitting that I included this little segment and a few pictures into this video because um, I'm actually back at said location, at the same location, um, only the next night. So basically the Northern Lights are visible from the UK tonight. So every man and his dog has gone out shooting. Every, you know, everyone's become a photographer basically. So. Um, I thought it was fitting to drop those pictures into this video. Back to the video, thank you very much for watching. Seems like a bit of an inversion over there. Oh, it's getting back away. So then, there's definitely pros and cons to a setup like that. So it's now 10 past five. I think that took me five minutes to pack everything away. Obviously a pro. A con, got everything soaking from the dew. If you have enjoyed watching me suffer, I have suffered, my fingers are freezing. I'm soaking. Luckily I didn't put my coat on. I tried to not wear it through the night. Didn't actually need it. Tried not to wear it so I can now put it on this morning, which has worked well. Like I say, if you have watched me, enjoyed watching me suffer, then what's wrong with you? Yes, if you haven't enjoyed me suffering, then what's wrong with you?